Hey, what's up? My name is Damian Lamar Hudson. And I'm Drew Kapner, and I'm an engineer producer here in the Los Angeles area. And I'm a recording artist. Work with Drew. Cool. Oh. So you guys just heard the uh, LP6 monitors for the first time. Uh, what do you think? Blown away. Super impressed. Um, you know, I'd heard another uh, another person that you had done a uh, a demonstration with, and one of the things that he kept mentioning was, I can't believe for the price point what you're able to do with this speaker. Um, and that's definitely my first reaction is, in that footprint and that configuration, how you're getting that much sound that accurately at that price point is mind-boggling. Uh, I also just heard the uh, speakers, they sound amazing. I do a lot of uh, work on my MPC at home, and I'm always just trying different genres and sounds, and I'm always using low end, really heavy, and bringing in samples that might have really high end, like doing crazy stuff, maybe at crazy quality, and I really feel like these monitors would be perfect for my setup on like the way I work and my workflow and what I'm listening to because the sound that they're putting out it's very even all around, and it's really high quality. I was very impressed with the output. Can you talk about some of the tracks that you played and sort of why you chose to play those tracks and what you heard? Yeah, well, initially, my the first thing that I'm going to do is play music that I know or music that I've made. So um, what, did we, what was the first thing that we listened to? We listened to something, a master that I had just gotten back um, from a new artist. And... I had been listening, I'd only listened to it actually a couple of times on the current monitors that I have as my main monitors in the room and was blown away <laughs> at the, the mastering of it. Um, so thought, what better um, way to test this monitors out than to pull this master up and have a listen. Um, and then I l we pulled some of Logic stuff, which clearly we're Logic fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, Killing Spree, because the drums on it are some of my favorite hip hop drums at Shout Out Six and Bobby Campbell. Some of my favorite um, drums recorded and mixed over the past maybe 10, 15 years. Um, and then what else? Then we oh, Indica Badu from Indica Badu. Yeah. yeah. Slapping. Again, because we want to hear what the low end's doing and how accurate the speakers are. Because oftentimes in this type of speaker configuration, the mid range is a little missing and the low end is not really what the what the speaker manufacturer is suggesting the speaker should be doing and these seem to be dead on um, exactly what they were suggesting and the vocals were crisp like throughout each oh of those. yeah the image really just like yeah, yeah, nice yeah. the sound was just butter it was, sounded really good and then we played inkblot after that another six joint where um, the drums are really knocking but you know, there's a heavy melodic line on the vocals and a lot of reverb and stuff, so you could really just hear the scale of, you know, what these speakers are really putting out, and it just sounds great. I've heard a lot of these songs a million times. In um, a million different rooms. <laughs> yeah, so I, you know, I, I kind of know what to expect, and I was impressed. I don't know if it's because I haven't heard these songs, in a, you know, um, in a minute, but at the same time, I hear them all the time. Like, you know, being on tour with these guys, like, they play these songs during the shows and it's like yo for real it was it was like a new experience just on how well, the, the records that you know flatness was just so yeah. just we know what those records are supposed to sound there. like both live right and in the studio right, right. Because that's definitely a great way for you to gauge mm -hmm. and even in the car like i said i hear these joints a lot and yeah i was really impressed really honestly i'm not even gassing it up Cool. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, Drew, you were moving around the room um, and kind of experiencing what the image oh, does the as image, you move around. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty impressive. The fact that we could do walk in a half circle around the room and center stays center on these. It's not like with most speaker, to date, most speaker configurations that we know and have been accustomed to using, like you know, the NS10s. Um, unless you're sitting in the right spot, imaging can be questionable you know, depending on where you're sitting in the room also, um, and depends on the room, but with uh, the Callies, the, because of the waveguide system, the imaging doesn't get wonky when you back up from the speakers, when you get in front of the speakers, obviously sweet spot is always going to be sweet spot, but when you walk around the room and do a half circle about mm, 
15 to 20 feet off of the where the sweet spot's supposed to be, you don't lose imaging, which is really impressive and shocking. I imagine someone that's trying to get into production and um, molding their studio to something that uh, has a professional standard, this would be a great way to get going because it's coming from a point where you're going to get a sound that you need to be hearing. You're not going to be getting too much low end or too much high end. It's going to be all of you know the frequencies that needs to like really just hit at you to get your entry level you know taste buds really going. I think this will get you closer to where you want it to be mm -hmm. faster. Mm -hmm. You know, if you ask any any uh, top engineer, one of the first things that they'll tell you is that you know your monitors are kind of your ears of the studio, like your microphones are. Um, those are the ears of the studio. So whatever you're hearing back is is what you're going to be translating and giving out to the rest of the world. If you want something that's accurate, that's going to get you closer to what the big guys are using, this will get you not closer. This will get you there. Like this isn't necessarily. I mean, you're, you're talking about it as an entry level speaker, but really, I I put this up against some high end monitors, and I think if you did a Pepsi Challenge blindfold taste test of like, what do you like better? I think you'd be pretty shocked at how well these would do up against some of the, the quote unquote big dogs, you know. No doubt. I, I think um, just to piggyback off of what you're yeah. saying, you know, it's like. You have you got something here that I think you're gonna find that guys at the top and guys who are just starting out can both appreciate and use in a real world situation. I mean, I know I could mix on these. And a lot of guys that just start out, I've noticed, only use headphones. Or some cats might even use laptop headphones when they're even just doing production in. But like like I'm saying, I just really I would really advise something like this and it's got me thinking in a different way because the speakers that I'm using at home right now are heavy on the low end. Even when, you know, I'm not really cranking the volume, you know, I, sometimes I work in the morning a lot. Right. And uh, if I will take my headphones off and just hear the vibe in the room and like, you know, what's going, I'll notice that often I'll play the track and I'll be like, oh man, this is like a little too loud right now. And I can't really get a really proper mix going you know, just with the speakers on until it's like midday. But I feel like these guys, I could come in at like at 8 a.m. and just slowly, you know, creep That's in another thing about them is that they're very true at a low volume. Oh, man, they sound great. when you dim the speakers, you're not, it's not like all of a sudden. Right. At, you know, everything above like 5K is now gone and everything below 100 is now gone because you've turned it down so low exactly. that you're not pushing enough air for the driver to actuate and... And get you what you you know what you're trying to get. Yeah, the sound is very true. Yeah, on, and on it's all not spectrums. Whereas, those, and I have to really applaud you guys for it's like not over exaggerating the bass in a in an era where exactly. everybody wants exactly. more bass, more That's bottom my point. end. That's my point exactly. Because my guys at home, I wouldn't be able to do that and. That's why this has me thinking in a different way. So kudos to you once again. I got to piggyback off you now. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> so uh, anything that you guys want to shout out? Uh, shout outs to Logic first and <laughs> foremost. You know, Rat Pack all day. L O G I C. Bobby Tarantino, greatest rapper. That's a lot. And Bobby Campbell and Six because we were bumping their music. Yeah, Mad Genius Six. Who can make beats on his laptop with no headphones, no nothing, yeah. and they're slappers. And shout out GCJ, Inkblot, one of my favorite Logic songs of all time. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's still going. Everybody's still going. 2000. I know, it's crazy. 18. It's crazy. Relevant. It's still relevant. <laughs> cool, guys. Thanks so much. All right, Cheers. thank you. Shout out Callie. <laughs>